Hey love folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for just the support. Um, just for you being you. You're, you're being open, you're being vocal, you're having your voice, you know, you're standing up what you believe in and you're changing your life just for happiness. You're changing your life to make, you know, we're actually doing something that we love to do and we're in a better place. So you keep doing that. You keep, you know, you keep rising and it, you know, everything will be coming right to you when you least expect it. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching this, my, my videos for a while, and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'd love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it was about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact again, and how it impacted your life to send you towards a positive direction and then I'm trying to say stop saying and so much because I say it so much I get aggravated when I go back and watch my videos because I say and. <laughs> so if you feel like the videos gave you uh, good information and good vibes that you would love to share please go ahead and do so and while you're at it you know give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites as well and once again, thank you so much for showing love and support to the channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And, oh my gosh, this little hair is just like really tickling my face. Um, the meditation music I am listening to today is called Raise Your Positive Energy. Uh, Raise Your Positive Energy Vibrations. Powerful meditation music incident remove of negative energy. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, uh, focus on your blessing and not on your current situation. I have to tell myself this. It's like when I look at my, my contents that I got written down, I say, ooh, y'all, I knew I was up in my feelings that day. <laughs> when I put that down, but I know it needs to be talked about because I'm just like, I don't know if I'm going to talk about that other one. I'm just like, but hey, it's true. We, we all go through it. So there's so many different contents that, you know, that I talk about, that I address, you know, and we all go through it. And it's just amazing how I'm, I'm connecting to y'all in each and every special way. And I love it. It's just a true blessing. Like I tell y'all, I cry a lot when I see some of y'all, you know, a lot of y'all, not some of y'all, but a lot of y'all's uh, comments that you up and tell me about the things that you're going through, things that you're experiencing, and things that you went through in your past and stuff like that. But it's just like when things are going on around you, you know, with you being an empath, it, even just being a hell, it can be a lot. It can be an uh, awful lot, you know. Um, just trying to deal with things, just trying to heal, just trying to let go of your past, you know. Um, just furthering your future you know there's so many things that when darkness and evil you know see something really good in us it will place stuff in our in our paths to bring us down lower our energy make us want to give up make us want to kill ourselves sometimes you know it gets like that you know because they see a lot of good in us they don't you know they, they don't want us to progress they don't want us to they want us to feel dreadful they want us to go to the dark side and you know do things the way they want to do it but it's just like we have to stay focused on the blessing focus on the things that you are heading towards focus on the things that inspire you focus on the things that make you happy you know don't focus on the things that's going on around you you might be in a situation a living situation you don't want to be in might be in a relationship that you're trying so desperately to get out of you know at a job that you're really not trying to be at you know and it's just it is just a thing people are losing jobs left and right you know that they have been very unhappy with for a long time and it's just like you know a lot of my friends that you know have came in and they're switching jobs or they're in between jobs you know i ask them you know they're, they'll get upset there's some of them they'll get upset and then it's just like ross and i lost my job this and this and that and i said you know that's always sad to hear somebody losing their job because that's your 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 way of living that's your livelihood you know your you know your income whatever 
And um, it, it's just like when you go through all these things, and but then you have to look like, okay, were you happy at this job? Was this job bringing you a lot of joy as well as income? You know, it could, you could be at a job that pays you really well, but you're miserable as hell there. You fuss about it every day. You bring your work home with you when you supposedly work at work at home at home. So it's just like, you know, things happen to us for a reason. You know, when it's just like when we're in a bad relationship and we were weak at that point, especially if you've been in an abusive relationship for so long and then you finally get your strength. You know, it's just like, you know, watching, uh, what was that movie? What's Love Got to Do With It? If anybody's ever watched the things that Tina Turner has went through, that was crazy because that door just closed by itself. <laughs> you know, when Tina Turner went through her issues uh, with Ike, you know, she had took the abuse. She had took the abuse until she started meditating. She started healing. She started finding strength from places she never thought she could find strength from while she's doing her music, while she's uplifting a lot of people with her music because he's seen a lot of her her good in her. He's seen a lot of light in her that he wasn't able to top himself. You know, Ike was just Ike, but Tina was just Tina. You know, everybody loved Tina. They were like, oh, I ain't worried about Ike. Let's see what Tina got to do. And he used to hate that. So he tried to break her down any way possible until she took that boot. <laughs> I wore that ass out. And then she finally went on about her business. She said, you know what? My name is Tina. I got my butt whooped. I'm trying to leave my husband. I don't want him to know where I'm at. Can you please just find me a room? I ain't got no money. I, I'll, you know, I'll pay you back whenever. They, you know, they were like, you know what, Miss Tina? You can stay here for free. We will not tell nobody you were here. You know, we just want to make sure you're safe. And that was just a true blessing that, you know, somebody was able to do that for her. But she had to go through all that just to get where she had to get today, you know, and it's just, uh, keep her in your prayers, because she's really going through a lot of stuff, I think it's cancer or something, uh, or something, but just keep her in your prayers, because she's not doing really well, she's in the hospital, but yeah, that made me think about that, but it's just like, when we go through situations like that, when we go through, you know, relationships, it, you know, the pain in our relationships strengthen us, it gives us things to know, like if you're in an abusive relationship, allows you to know when you finally decide to heal and give yourself time. And I always tell people, give yourself time to heal. I find so many people are just like, hey, Michelle, that song that she, she has, you don't know, love them all. You know, she gets one man and when, when one goes wrong, she gets another one to get over that one. But you never, you don't need to get over another man to find another one. You need to heal. You need to <laughs> learn how to love yourself. And then when you know what you want in a relationship, Relationship because there's times back in my past where people have asked me what do you want in a relationship and I really couldn't tell them because I've never been in something that you know well actually I have but it was like very short-lived um you know a really good relationship healthy relationship but it was like I did not know what I wanted in a relationship and I wasn't really in love with myself so I was willing to take anything so it's just like when I learned to go through all these things and heal it's just like oh no you know people are just like well I gotta find this person I gotta find that because they're tired of being about themselves yeah I'm tired of being by myself too but I want to make sure there is no hidden motives behind anybody dating me knowing that they like me for who I am you know what I represent not by who I'm related to and this and this and that you know and it's just like what you're willing to accept and what you're willing to deal with and when you get yourself on that standard when you put everything so high that it's just like you yeah you might have high standards but that's going to get you to the right woman or man that you need to be to because all these you know, sometimey folks, you know, they run up your credit or, you know, they, you know, they want to beat you or they want to steal from you. It's just all, you know, we get from, with these people and from, trying to find love throughout the, all, you know, wrong places. So that gives you your chance to heal and do what you need to do or whatever. But just focus on the goals. Focus on the things that make you happy, that inspires you to do something that you know brings you to life you know you have talents that you have that you know can probably support you on an income if you can put your mind to that that you know be consistent about it and you 
you know, you finding your ways to do it. You know, the universe will supply you with everything you need to have. So it's just like right now, I'm not where I want to be, but I know I'm heading towards that way. You know, I'm doing my videos, loving what I do, helping others, you know, trying to give them a piece of understanding, knowing they're not going crazy, <laughs> knowing they're not by themselves, even though when we feel like we're by ourselves, we're not. But, you know, I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Sorry, y'all, about me taking the day off. But like I said in my other video, I had to give me some rest. I had to get myself balanced out. You know, it was just a lot. It was just a lot. So it's just like when I feel that way, I will not make any videos. Just to spare y'all that, that feeling that y'all, that I was spare out on y'all that I'm feeling. So, you know, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites as well. Knowing that you are truly blessed, highly loved, and knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And so much much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And to my post notification shout outs today. It's Kimber Wolf Gang. Much love to you. And Laura Kennedy, much love to you too. I'm giving y'all shout outs. You know, if you're just now subscribing, go ahead and hit that bell and let me know that you're getting notified. So, you know, when I'm getting my, you know, when my upcoming videos are coming up. So I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.